Vampire smash each other in the ass, brothers! What the savage hell is going on here? Push, man, push! I think he's going to do a lot more than roasting nuts. Why do I hear Super Smash Brothers music? It's time, Anthony! Yes, folks, we are going to take a look at the extreme side of rap battles with Epic Rap Battles of Extreme. Last time, we looked at both of his Diego vs. Bear Grylls battles. Then we looked at a two-for-one special with his Jack Sparrow vs. Hawkness and Buddy vs. Papa John's battles. And now, we're getting into the big one. The one battle in his entire library that everyone remembers the most when talking about the ERBO Extreme. And the best part? It's another fucking Royale. Be prepared, folks. This battle is Mario vs. Link, released on September 15th of 2014, just two days after the release of Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. And given this is a rap battle royale that has the first two rappers being Mario and Link, you think it's gonna be a royale going into most, if not all, the characters that have appeared in the current or previous Super Smash titles. And you'd be right to think that. But as the battle goes on, things are gonna get a bit complicated. But why spoil it now? We gotta watch it and see for ourselves. So let's not waste any more time and jump into it. Okay, so we start off the video with an announcer acting like he's trying to get a sneeze out. <laughs> Damn it, it's gone! Epic rap battles of extreme! And once again, we have taken too long to get to the logo. At this point, I don't care anymore. At least the logo itself looks pretty good. Almost looks like a legit series name that ERB would make. But is it me, or is the battle text blurry compared to the rest? Super Mario. Wow, Matthew is playing Mario. Color me surprised. This guy has been typecasted so much as this character for almost a year, and you're telling me he still could not afford to get actual overalls for the character? The suspenders look so good. Dumb on him, and they clearly don't match the color of his pants either. He's even wearing his shirt inside out. And bro, what is that mustache? I don't remember him using tape to hold it onto his face in the games. And his Mario hat. It's just a red hat with a sticker of the M placed on top of it. To be fair, it's not a terrible job. But again, could you not afford to get a Mario hat from Nintendo's official merchandise? I comment on the background, but all I can say is it's not very immersive as it's just a 2D image with no attempt to make Mario look like he's actually standing on the blocks. Versus Link. What the fuck is that? That is not Link. That is Justin using his outfits from his old XP9 series. I'm not joking, it's literally the same one. 
We'll get this stupid inside out shirt with his stupid cargo pants and his stupid boots and that stupid hat that I bet you is just a tableware napkin sewn to be a hat. And in what alternate universe does Link use a goddamn machete instead of a sword? Hi, it's me, Link, the hero of Hyrule! Like, why? Why did you go with him? Of all the people, video game rap battles, RL Yoshi, hell, the guy who made Goku vs. Link even. Why did you choose him out of everyone else to be Link? Guess we'll never find out. And can we stop using this background for Link every single time? There are many other areas in Hyrule you can use as backgrounds besides this, you know. Forget it's a mean Mario, I just be world like a Oh, and the voice sucks ass too. Not trying to diss the way Matthew speaks, but it's too mumbly for someone like Mario. Oh, and see this freeze frame shot of Mario mid-action? Get used to it. There's gonna be a lot of them um, for the other rappers in this battle. It's not me, Mario. I just be World Link, bitch. What the hell is World Link, bitch? I get what he was doing, sort of, but where can you honestly go with a reference like that? I'm not joking when I say this, but the majority of these lyrics has had me looking like this throughout the whole thing. And once we get further into the battle, so will you. I can spit more than you with a mask that won't quit. I will pay good money, not really, for those who are able to figure out what he means by this line, because I'm beyond lost. Oh, that's nice. Link's machete has dry blood on it. Who did he kill before this? Stop you like a Goomba line, cliche. You're not a legend at all, but I'm actually super- Okay, the way you said that made it as if you just now realized that you were super. Look at you, Link! Thinking you're some sort of legend, as if you'll ever leave a mark in history for the foreseeable future! But me, I'm- Oh my god. I am super! Well, that rhyme scheme did not work one bit. Why did he say the Mario Fools? What's wrong with Mario Bros? No, I think his fairy has a fairy brain, cause it's a fairy. What kind of character would ask if their opponent went to school, let alone Link? Also, yeah, they rhyme school with itself. Same line rhymes can work if done right. This wasn't done right. Yeah, I wasn't lying to you guys when I said that them using the word profound was a common thing in the community. And the thing is, this battle was released a year after Slender Man vs. Jeff the Killer, and still nobody bothered to look up the dictionary to see what the word meant? Link may have gone to school, but the jackasses working on this certainly haven't. It's all about me when you been drowned. Oh my god, a creepy pasta Ben drowned reference in a battle of Mario vs. Link? I'm honestly not surprised. But yeah, I can't figure out where he was going with this reference either. Hard to battle me when you've been drowned. These lyrics are so confusing that the more I try to examine them, the more lost I get. Get your hand a skirt. Oh, that's wonderful. Get Zack to do the voice for someone who's clearly not a kid here. Were they trying to do Young Link in the games? If that's what they were going for, then again, why did you choose Justin for the role? Get your hand a skirt. Oh, hell no. Well, that one happened. My is like the money never make its worth go. Why does money matter at all? And what kind of currency are we talking about? 
And really? Your flow is worth gold? Yeah, sure. Mario arguably has the most diverse set of games than any other franchises out there. He's got space games, party games, car games, side-scroller games, RPG games, etc. But, okay, go and tell us that playing Qbert of all games is better than playing Super Freaking Mario Brothers. Whoa! Holy shit, Link! That was unnecessarily hostile of you. Hey, come on, come on! Why all the disrespect in this country? Right, bomber man. Did you hear being a, bomber? a bomber is an aircraft designed to carry and drop bombs. So, that means Mario is a good rapper. I call that accidental praise, but given what I heard in Mario's verse, that's a complete lie. You may be a little well, but at least I'm not a fat One, where in Mario's verse did he call you a little elf? Two, you already called him a fat plumber. Or pizza love an Italian bastard for that matter. And free plumber. So what? Mario's a bird catcher now? Can I talk about this poor ass job of lip syncing here? Actually, I don't need to do that. Cause Justin pretty much said it himself. In Bilo's review on this battle, Justin said outright in the comments that he could not care to lip sync for this battle. Well, that's an asshole thing to do. Imagine getting somebody like Justin at the time to do a role for your battle, and then he says to you, Yeah, I will do it, but I'm not going to try at all with this one. If you're not going to put an effort into your role, why did you say yes? Are we talking about the franchise as a whole or the game's lengths? Because... They're not that long, to be honest. It looks more like you're about to hit a blunt. You, you already did this. Forget it. Link is not a mute. He just doesn't speak often. Is that so hard to understand? I know I might be fat, but at least I'm not a DL. Okay, so here he calls Link an elf, but he doesn't call him little. He instead calls him gay. Because of course. Well, for once, at least it's not a homophobic slur. I'll burn you with a fire flower, then make you burn hell. Ugh, why would Mario suddenly talk about hell? How does he even know what that is? By the way, uh, I want you guys to see if there's something wrong here as this verse is going on. You might not notice it at first, but you'll catch it pretty quickly. I know I might be fat, but at least I'm not a DL. I'll burn you with a fire flower, then I'll make you burn in hell. Go, go, kick his ass on the way back to the lost wood. That might boost your game would be happy. Oh, I'm sorry. My hat seems to be turning on its own. It's almost like they said to hell with continuity and just go with the flow. Go kick his ass on the way back to the lost wood. That might boost your game would be happy. Oh, shut up, you narcissistic suspenders wearing fuck. Without you, I'm pretty sure he'll still be fine. Hey, yo, Koopa. I got something to say to you, boy. <clears throat> Yo, King Bowser, you really suck. When I get to that axe, you're far past fucked. Tell Junior down there he ain't getting any head. And I'm not talking about your born son, you dickhead. When I get Princess Peach back, what the fuck? I'm gonna go up and down her like a flop and pound that pussy like a power block. Don't even try to run back, cause you already flopped. I'm a nut and you're gonna suck that shit up like a fucking mop. Oh, stop hurting my brain! That is a 
if you don't go in a small run. Hold up, what is this part? I don't think I heard Link say the first three of those lines. Better than if you don't go in a small run. Well, as easy as that. What were you trying to prove? Well, you want my master sword, you won't get a second line. That's not a master sword, that's a machete. That's getting cut off. Wow, that is really bad. Oh, but I thought you were a legend. The way you win this, you were tough, God, how much worse can that cut off get? He already had his two verses. What are you talking about? Call B. A Tobuscus reference to the Sweet My Diamond Sword song? That line blows my mind for one reason. And when we get to there, you will absolutely understand. Take a bow, love, turn you into ice and I'll burn you. So you'll freeze him, then melt the ice so he can survive. You kinda suck at this. I'm the true king of Nintendo, end of discussion. What the fuck? This line was already said earlier. How did you miss that? I'm the winner of this battle, totally no complexion. You clearly did not say competition, you said complexion. And yet, Anthony did not tell Zack to redo that line. Because why would they? What's up bitches, Red Trainer has arrived! And so the Royale begins. And yes, it's one of those Royales where everyone only has one verse except for the two rappers. Because, fuck everyone else I guess. Up, has arrived. Well, I don't really have much to complain about in terms of the costume, but could you not have found another background that didn't look like the Windows desktop backdrop? Money under this battle, you'll never make it out alive. Did this kid just threaten Mario and Link's lives? I'll shock you like a Pikachu and flame you like a Charizard. Shock you like a Pikachu and flame you like a Charizard. Ah! Is that a bug in my room? You have to realize that you both won't get fucked. What is going on with Mario's shadow here? It's casting on nothing but thin air. That's not how shadows work. Oh, I got Squirrel and Navisor by my side. No, that's a Pikachu, Snorlax, and an Espeon by your side. But no squirrels or ivasaurs. Oh, I got Squirrel and Navisor by my side. There's nothing you can do. Mario has a star power up and Link has a sword. Do you really want to test them right now? You two are worse than my enemy, Blue. Apparently, Blue is the sky. In our news, grass is green. You're gonna get screwed because you're about to fall. Okay, we know that this battle is cluttered with filler lines, and I have no plans on checking them off myself. So instead, I'm just gonna continue being baffled by the absurdity of some of these lines. You're gonna get screwed because you're about to fall. That's like two of the same thing you just said there. So it's not only filler. But it's also... All aboard the redundancy train of redundancy! Enjoy your ride as you enjoy your ride! Oh, you can't win this! Ah, what is this double vision effect? It's hurting my eyes. So come and suck my Pokeball! How about I don't do that, you fucking kid? Or teen? Regardless, no! So, uh, I need to explain the build-ups for these next rappers. There isn't really much to comment on besides a few things, but what you need to know is, they take forever. I'm not joking when I say that these buildups last so long and waste so much running time for the battle, not counting the end credits, which also lasts for way too long. So, I'm just gonna skip a bunch of them and go straight to the rappers instead, and then at the end, I will tell you exactly how long these buildups last in the entire battle combined. Trust me, the answer is gonna blow your mind. It's Mega Man here, time to finish up this rivalry. Okay, so now we're on to Mega Man, and fun fact about this guy, he's a sprite here. And he's gonna be the only sprite in this whole battle. Because why peak assistant when everyone else does their roles live action? I guess they didn't have a blue shirt, underwear, and a bicycle helmet stored in their closet at the time. It's Mega Man here, time to finish up this rivalry. This voice by Fell, by the way, 
it sometimes goes off sync and it has this terrible speech jammer effect with the already bad robot filter placed over it. So most of the time, you're not gonna know what he's saying if you're not paying attention to the subtitles. Because they're gonna get burned. Is that it? What? You fuckers. You fuckers. You motherfucker, I will rain hellfire upon you! A furry? Did he just call Mario a furry? Ah, you motherfuckers acting like you're PETA every time Pokemon is in a battle. Suck a roadkill cock! That's a rather oddly prophetic line, given that we didn't see a new mainline entry in the series until 2018. Probably an accident, but if that's not one hell of a prediction. That's Dr. Wily? No, it isn't. Besides, isn't Wily like the main villain in the series? Why bring him up? And more importantly, why have this stock footage here at all? This match will beat you over this will you faster. Well, no shit. Yo, I'm at a disaster <laughs> when I shoot my Mega Blaster. But how can you put them into a disaster when you're already in one? Oh, <laughs> Wow, those are some beautiful mushroom cloud I mean smoke clouds going off. I like how they get cut off from the top too. Oh no. Is that who I think it is? They call me Snake. No, Snake, why are you in this battle? Oh man, this costume is absolute balls. All he has is a gray shirt with pants, sunglasses, which I never see him wear besides in the second game, and a necktie as a bandana. You couldn't at least give him a vest to wear? They call me Snake, but I kill you with my venomous flow. What was that hair motion? Oh yeah, I'm about to whack your ass with my snake juice. I like that the Metal Gear font wouldn't allow him to put a hashtag next to the number one, so it's just by itself. But it looks less like a one and more like a D. Maybe this wasn't the best choice of font, guys. Call Super Smash Bro. Oh, he did the thing. He did the thing. Are you seriously trying to tell me that your sniper is going to beat out his Buster? Bitch, I can't count to you the amount of times I died on that boss fight because of how ass it was to control that sniper of yours. You gotta scope down and then get onto the bitch's head, which takes a lifetime to do so, and then when you think you have her, she shoots you in the face and then your character goes and then you have to do it all over again. Your sniping sucks. Mario, do your job, ho, unclog the pipe. Soldier Boy up in this hoe, watch me crank it, watch me roll, watch me crank that Soldier Boy and Super Mario the hoe. Can't take you losers, you're all giving me a hand. I think you're having a seizure too. I'll take Pete out into my castle, taste my sour stick. Oh, I was just wondering when they'll drop that line into the mix. You're so predictable. You got in this glitches, who can even rap? Like you're one to talk, asshole. I'm out, you guys lost now. Done, done with this crap. Well, I'm certainly done with your crap as well. Now, before we get to the next rapper, I'm sure many of you have had an idea on what exactly this battle was about. You see Mario and Link, and then you think to yourself, okay, so it's a battle about the two flagship franchises on Nintendo. And then Pokemon comes in. And while that does stay, now it's more of, oh, so it's just their general franchises that they owned. Then Mega Man comes in, and that's when they start to turn things around a bit. So you think to yourself again, oh, so it's an 8-bit Royale, because they came from the 8-bit era. 
And then Solid Snake comes in. And that's when things get flipped on its head. You're like, wait, what? But then you think, again, oh, it's a Super Smash Brothers Royale. Because not only does he reference it, but this battle just happened to come out days after the Wii U game came out. A and you're right to think that. I'm not saying that you're wrong, and I'm not saying that it isn't a possibility. But then comes the next rapper. And just like that, all of those theories you may have had go straight out the window. You want to know who that is? Watch. For Mother Russia! There is no- Yep. It's Victor Resna from Call of Duty World at War. Played by Zack of all people. Holding an arcade light gun. Fantastic. And at this point, everybody has collectively thrown their hands up in the air and asked themselves, what is this battle about? Is it about the main heroes? The evolution of gaming? The things I'd rather be playing than watching this? There is no time to warn you, you're gonna get shot. Who warns somebody that they're going to get shot? Hey! You! I'm going to shoot you in the face! Okay, but I'm going to shoot you in the face first. Okay! Thank you! Hey! You there! I'm going to shoot you in the head! Okay! Thank you! Hey! You there! I may be cold-hearted, but my reps are just hot. Just hot enough. Not too hot. Just hot. I got last World War II on hit on life. And, and... Nice job, nice job. Two on hit on life of Alex Mason. That's Mason? God, if I had to choose to save him in Black Ops 2, I would have shot him in the fucking head. I'm the spirit of Red Army, you don't know who you're gonna face! I'm the spirit of the Red Army, you don't know who you're facing. Are you for real? Hey, we just cannot win this. At this point, who will? Your raps are just too weak, I'll shoot you up with my rhymes, call it five rhyme kill streak. Oh shit, he's going full Naruto. Wait, where did your coat go? See, this is why you need to let your actors know that there's gonna be a shot where Reznov kills Snake. Because this looks really stupid. Then he'll just be Mega? What the absolute hell is this? Leak Mario to his wrath? I have never seen a bigger fail at dissing two characters in one line until now. Okay, let's fast forward a bit and... It's time you guys stop, let two winner take this! Oh yeah, I forgot, Dovahkiin is in this battle. And guess what else is happening here? They're using stock footage from ERPP's Dovahkiin vs. Link battle, so you know what that means. Footage that will absolutely not match with the lyrics presented in the video. By the way, it's at this point that they just go off the rails with who they put into this thing. As if this battle didn't already lose its sense of direction when they brought in a Call of Duty character into what appeared to be a Super Smash Bros. battle. Time to stop, let two winner take this! <sighs> Look at that sword plop down on his back. Wait. Why is that sore placed on your back? That must be really uncomfortable. Yellow school say it for you all in the fiery hot dip. Yeah, and I think I'll become president in a few years. We all dream about things that will never be true. Slick you just a rip off. Now, I believe he is talking about the highlight game that came out before Zelda on the NES that shared a lot of similarities with each other in terms of auto scrolling, guy with swords, and princess saving thing going on. The only difference being Zelda did it right and highlight did not. 
Mario, quit the shit! And that was just him not thinking of a good disc to use on Mario and instead tells him to quit. What exactly? Taking shrooms? That's some good advice, actually. A pain drink is so hard, so it's best to just quit! Could you not have double-checked that line before you send it out to your actors? It sounds so unbelievably wrong. Make a mess, I'll snake. Don't even try, try to do it. Ugh, you just wandered onto the set, didn't you? You don't have any clue what's going on. You just came in and went with the flow without any context. Maybe that's why this battle's connection got lost really quickly. These two weren't supposed to be in it. Because we all know your name is the opposite definition of dicks. So, I'm guessing he's referring to Solid Snake here, cause hurdy der Solid Snake mean hard dick. But Mario, Link, Red, Rastuff, and Mega Man... What are the definitions for those guys? Once you see my record, sorry- That sword is not from Skyrim, it's from Zelda! Just- how? Pussies all head on home, dear. No. Zack, stop fucking dancing! Pussies all head on home, dear. No. Mario and Link don't have moms. Mega Man's a robot, but you could consider Doctor White as a father figure. Resna probably did, but is most likely dead. Red does have a mom, and Snake also did have a mom, but yeah. So that's one you got right. Better than zero, I guess. Now let me finish those battle with my money. Fusro da! That is the weakest Fusro da I have ever heard. Imagine if that was in the trailers for the game. If their tongue is Dovakin, Dragonborn. Fusro da! Okay, why is this guy sneaking around but Snake isn't? Is Everything in this battle going to be backwards? It's time to finish this battle of the Almighty FC. You having trouble figuring out who this is? This is Franklin Clinton from GTA 5. Yeah, this is supposed to be Franklin. Last I checked, he didn't have hair, and he also didn't wear his boxers in public. Also, that voice. It's time to finish this battle of the Almighty FC. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho, that is awful for Franklin. Can you imagine if he had that voice in the game? What's up? Can a low come up in your crib? Man, fuck you. I'll see you at work. Don't think any of you have logos on my GTA MC. <gasps> oh my god. There's gonna be a Minecraft GTA crossover. My game is card prices, prostitutes. What do you got? Always having new mechanics, exploring the world of Hyrule, gotta catch them all, hack it slash platformer, Hideo Kojima, Warzone, and modders. Though I can see boobies in your game, so I guess you do have a point. A red doesn't what was he doing in Mario 3D World then? Made it with it? A blue rod was all cut. He's an android. I'm pretty sure the last thing he would have is a dick. Are you talking about his name? The box he uses to hide? Be specific? They really had nothing for Franklin in this battle, did they? No, you actually set one on fire and dropped another from a tower. Anyways, dear god, these two are not Trevor and Mike. If this is what Rockstar promoted for their game, would you guys still buy it? Before I go, I gotta say, you guys are dykes. Well, the word he meant to use is dyke spelled with a Y. The definition says that it is used as an offensive slur to lesbian or tomboyish women. But the word dyke, as he typed it here with an I, means a long wall or embankment built to prevent flooding from the sea or a ditch or water course. I, I have no words. That kind of incompetence takes a lot of skill to pull off. Look out, losers, I'm the hero who's important. Oh, Fuck, it's Nathan Drake, and it's played by Anthony with a shaved head! 
At least he got the outfit right, but boy, get a load of this background. Whew. Let's keep going. Total destruction's coming, and it won't be Drake's misfortune. Oh, fuck you. Just, 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 fuck you. You know what? Fuck you. Clinton's more like Bill or Nixon. Oh, it's funny because his last name is Clinton. <laughs> You're really pushing it, guys. This is the gayest rap battle I think I have ever reviewed in my three years of doing this review series. I can slowly feel my love for women slipping away as I go deeper into this hole. Oh, and that pun I made was gay too! Fuck! Come on, you can't even get the pun of his name right. So you better listen. When I get ready to see, you'll be begging for mercy. No, that's me. I might need therapy after this. This is not even him making references anymore. Everybody's just pulling shit out of their asses hoping it can make some sort of impact. But they don't. They just don't. Wait a second. I've lost all hope at this point. Whoever's next is probably going to suck really bad compared to everyone else. I honestly doubt that's true. And what are you trying to do here? Be taken away by God? Alright. Last rapper. Thank God. Are you all ready to see who it is? Yo, it's Steve, and you guys should try and face the facts. Minecraft! Because... Fuck! Yo, it's Steve, and you guys should try and face the facts. What facts, you son of a bitch? That you need your editors to stop cutting off your blades? And speaking of that sword, remember when Link made that Tobuscus reference in his second verse? Well, since Minecraft is in the battle, you would think they would give that line to him instead, since that's where that song originated from. But they don't. Why would you have Link make that Sway My Diamond Sword reference, but not for a Minecraft character? Oh man, this is so frustrating. Why does this battle do everything backwards? Is it too much to ask to have these references be with their respective franchises? See you all like Bear Grylls. See you all like Bear Grylls. Fuck you! Like bear grills, cause this is Minecraft. This is Minecraft. You asses just prove. Nice mistake there, buddy. All your asses are belong to us. You asses just prove why people are not playing computer games. Well, that's because PC has a wider selection of games for people to play that otherwise wouldn't carry the same graphical fidelity on console. And sure, they can't play most Nintendo games like Mario, Zelda, and Pokemon on PCs, but there's this really cool thing called emulators. Oh, wow. Never heard of that before. Mario getting high on mushrooms, that's fucking insane. Hey, that's not nice. What if he's trying to go to rehab? Hey, Red, how would you like to suck up my Pokeball? Hey, don't be stealing his lines, you dick. No matter how bad they might be. Pokemon. I don't think once have we seen his Pokemon fight in this battle for him. So, Sega 105, that's up hiding in that box. Every time I see Anthony or somebody diss another character they're also playing, all I think about is the double Spider Man meme. Is that just me? Or no? Mega Mega back to second, back to Wiley Zillcon. You know what? I'm going to listen to some music for a bit. Because I'm about to have a mental breakdown in just a minute. 
I'll be right back. <sighs> okay, I'm back. Hopefully. Like your sword is big up like you see my diamond sword. That's an iron sword you're holding, not diamond. Could you win the Trapper Species Tick Zelda as my reward? Yeah, like hell you'll score her. Chicks don't dig brick dicks, you know. I think you rip off a stone, but you're just as worse. I don't think he was. I've got the best close, so I don't even need a second verse. Nobody except the first two rappers had a second verse. And even with only one, they still sucked. What makes you think I would want to hear another verse from you? Trick, you're not amazing, your victory is uncharted. Your victory is uncharted. Failures, it's best y'all departed. The spell just ended, so wipe off a damn frown. Is this what you wanted? None of you will top me, so I'll put you on. Shut down. Hold on. Oh, did you all hear that, guys? Steve is about to put you all on shutdown because Minecraft is God and God is Minecraft! Oh my god! Where do I begin with this? Well, I might as well talk about how this battle went off the rails so quickly with its roster. I have never been so confused as to what this battle is supposed to be in a long time. With other royales, it's either obvious what the battle is from the get-go, or the rappers have one specific trait that connects with everyone else that gives you the answer. This battle went from Nintendo Royale, to 8-Bit Royale, to Smash Royale, to Video Game Evolution Royale, to what the hell are you honestly doing Royale? It doesn't help either that this battle builds up every single character it possibly can, no matter how unnecessary they are. And speaking of the build-ups, when adding them up all together, all lengths of the build-ups in total are a minute and 40 seconds. And when you remove the intros and outros, which takes away a minute and 10 seconds from the battle, that would mean one and a quarter six of this battle is comprised of unneeded build-ups for seven of their characters. That is unbelievable. Now that that's out of the way, we can discuss everything else, starting with the costumes. They're dog shit. Red, Nathan, and Steve looked fine. Dovacane also did too, but he's stock footage, so I'm not going to count that. And Mega Man is a sprite, which crosses him off the list too. Mario looked like an idiot with his suspenders, Snake looked homeless, Reznov speaks for itself, and Link... Uh, oh my god. The body acting is as lost as you can make it. People tend to look away from the camera, do actions that don't match with what they're saying, sometimes not figuring out what action they want to perform, and... Uh, whatever the fuck this is. The voices are ass. Mario sounded drunk, Lynx did not match with its video actor, Mega Man's was unintelligible, Reznov did not sound Russian, don't even get me started on Dovacane's voice, and Franklin Clinton sounds like a white person, which is unbelievably ironic given who actually voiced him. And lastly, the lyrics. Every verse has a line made purely to fill in space, which makes this the laziest writing I have ever seen in a battle. Jokes and references fall flat on their faces because they're either too vague for people to understand or are phrased so terribly that it sounds like gibberish no matter how much you try to examine them. 
lines are either repeated or rephrased, and if I have to pick the worst verse in this whole thing, it would have to go to Franklin Clinton because it did everything I just brought up in this section. I can hardly stomach down royales that go over their rapper limit and get way too cluttered to comprehend anything, but this was probably the hardest one to get through. I still will say it's a shame Anthony discontinued the series, cause I think if he just sat on it a bit longer and found some other people to help him out with the lyrics, we would've actually gotten something worthwhile. But now, this review was only possible because when someone posts something online for the world to see, someone's bound to archive it, and there's nothing we can really do about it. My overall rating for this battle is a Buy Left Smash DLC out of 10. Well, that was a journey, to say the least. I really need to lay off on some of these royales because I don't think I can take another one of them. Next review time is... Something about going back to the past to play shitty games that suck ass. So, a Christian battle. Thank you guys for watching and... Ugh. I need to listen to some music again. Oh, God.